An estimated 40,000 people have been buried here over the centuries and today the churchyard contains over 5,000 graves and 11 war graves. here before Victorian times was to have flat burials where the gravestones were laid flat on the ground. However, in 1858 when the church was fully rebuilt many of the stones were moved around meaning that a lot of the gravestones that you see lay flat today are not on top of the original graves. The churchyard at Bowden is a mix of graves from the 17th century onwards. However, as with many Cheshire graveyards today there are always some tombs that become damaged over time. The oldest known grave here at Bowden is that of William Artinstall de Ringi, dated to 1617. It was William's surname of Ringe that was to become Ringway, and in the early 20th century, Ringway Aerodrome was built. Today we'll all know this as Manchester International Airport. Here at Bowden, there are some stunning tombs and gravestones to be seen, including this wonderful carved granite tomb chest of the 19th century. It's only when we climb slowly above this tomb that its place in amongst the other graves is revealed in much greater detail. Now there's no doubt there's many interesting graves here at Bowden, but there's one grave in particular, that of William Wood, a great man with a great story to tell. William Wood was known as the Chimney Boy's friend and he was famous for pushing through legislation to help prevent children from climbing up chimneys to clean them despite mechanical alternatives now being available. Upon William's death his coffin was carried here by six chimney suites from five different towns. It just goes to show you the rich history that remains to be told from graves such as this. The churchyard here at St Mary's Church in Bowden is certainly worth a visit to see the rich variety of graves and tombs that remain here till this day. <laughs> <laughs>